impressive was you were the lead in a film called <coughs> Love and Love Not, which obviously had a major, major part in as well as as the producer. But yeah. um, <clears throat> what was that like? Like, especially like going from what you're saying, like just having fun, whatever, chilling with your friends, and then going to the opposite of that, and you know, going as the lead actor in a film. What was it like getting that role? doing that role, being a part of the project in general? I was super excited when that, um, <clears throat> you know, when that project came into my life. Um, we did a little test shoot prior, and then when the director, Anthony Cali, told me that, you know, he was making me the lead in the movie, I was, could not be more ecstatic. And to just have, like, I had all, plenty of time to just hone in and, and really just, like, put in, put in all work on my own time. and. To be able to be working when a lot of the industry wasn't was yeah. an absolute blessing. And to go from, at that point, I'd only done like short projects, little, you know, yeah. independent made ones. It's a big, big shift. Big jump, <laughs> big jump, but I, I, you know, felt ready to do it and just had the most incredible experience doing so as well. Yes. And uh, yeah, that was just a huge blessing, especially like you said, coming out of a huge lull where there was nothing to even do as an actor, really. There was no auditions happening like it yeah. was just very difficult to get anything made with covid restrictions and all these things so when that project came along it was timing couldn't be better and nope. it was just beautiful all around it was amazing yeah so it's well we're happy to be on the other side of it and now it's yeah. now it's out and available for everyone who's out yeah the how is out there how has that experience been like since uh the film was uh i guess the end of principal photography up until now, like what's what's it been like since? Like how do you feel? Like is, you know, momentum, whatever. Yeah, well it was great. It was cool to see all the different stages the film went through, cool. you know, because yeah. I, being closely involved with directors, producers on the project, I was able to see like the first rough cut of the film. And I saw it too and I was like, oh my God, this is great. Knowing it was super unpolished at the time, but just to see how it evolved, that was pre-music, coloring, anything, nope. just, just cutting together the clips. So to see where the project came from the end of shooting to, to, to the final product was amazing to see a movie at that close level, me and me, you know, involved heavily in the movie. Yeah. And it was, <clears throat> it was amazing. And then to have it finally get out there was just incredible. Well, um, what about like the festival stuff? Did you like, uh, you, you obviously, uh, there was a lot of festival stuff. Did you go to the events and like, did you, you know, I know you went to the events, but like, yeah. tell, us about, tell us about the experience. So, yeah, yeah, we did, we did pretty well at a lot of the, like the, the lower level festival, like smaller yeah. ones. And, um, one that was amazing was the Manhattan film festival. Cause I we see. had a, a live screening. A lot of the festivals were doing like online things still at the time yeah. due to COVID and, and not wanting to gather, you know, a bunch of people in, in a, in a large well, space. Yeah. So the Manhattan Film Festival was doing a live screening in Manhattan, and that's where all my family still resides. A lot, yeah, of, a lot yeah. of us involved in the movie, all of our family's still out there. So <clears throat> to be able to tell everybody, hey, we, my, the movie is premiering on the big screen. I, I got everyone tickets for them, and we kind of you know had a whole event about it. We went out to eat before. That was just very, very special, man, to, to yeah. you know. It was special. It was special for me too, like yeah. being there, being able to give that platform to not only your your family but my family as well. Yeah, and it was really cool to experience that and uh, even just see you and Anthony do your thing and like whatever. We were able to just all be in the same place and celebrate together our great experience. Yeah, um, I mean, I'd, being in LA a while, right? Yeah. Going for a career in acting, like you don't always see the fruits of your labor. Yeah, you know, like it takes these things take time, and, and for my journey is not the one of overnight success. So to finally, like my parents have, I've been out there years at this point. So to for to bring my parents yeah. to a big screen premiere of something that yeah. you know I'm the lead role in, it was just uh, it was super special. Cool, man. I'm, I'm real. I'm yeah. real. I'm happy to be able to share that with you, and and yeah, I'm happy you feel the way that you do. It's pretty pretty phenomenal.